I just met and toured several nomads homes on wheels. Oh my gosh. A 79 year old lady who sat in the middle of her van, empty van with metal surrounding her and said to herself, what have I just done? And she turned her home into a beautiful cottage. 90% of it done by herself. I also met an artist, part-time on the road, carries all of her art with her, a beautiful artist and does shows in the summertime. And I met a lovely couple part-timing it with extraordinary tips and toured their beautiful cottage. You are not gonna believe it. Come along and let's meet some extraordinary nomads. Hi. We were just talking a minute ago. This is beautiful. Thank you. Do you mind sharing your age? I'm 79. Fantastic. And you were saying that you did this yourself. I did. This is fantastic. What an empowering woman you are. Living life large. Well, you know, I think anybody could probably do this. When I first got my van in 2019, I saw all of these bare metal walls and floor and I sat down in the middle of the floor and said what was I thinking <laughs> and then I said no get yourself together you can do something so the first thing I did was put in the subfloor which I did wrong the first time so I redid it uh -huh. and then I started doing just a little bit at a time and I got the walls up and I got up, you know, I started building the cabinets and- I'm gonna swing around here. Wow, this is so cool. So you are part-time, you were saying, I'm right? I, I live full-time, I guess you'd say, in a 24-foot um, travel trailer. So okay. I don't and, go very big ever. <laughs> okay, and mind stay, saying where, where your landing zone is? Um, or It's in the Escapee um, Co-op in Sutherland, Oregon. Okay, nice, yeah. nice. And then here's your front. Yeah. And I'm just gonna do a quick go around because I know many more people wanna see this. This is the open house today for smaller rigs under 20 feet. Yeah. And how, and the ceiling, everything, you, you did it all. I except got, for the electrical, you I said. I had a lot of help with the ceiling. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's, that's not something that one person can very well put up by themselves. Okay, got you. Yeah. But I am so impressed, and I'm sure the people who are listening right now are going to be in amazement, and uh, you, you'll be a, a great encourager for people. I don't think anybody could do this, but... <laughs> I do. I think that if they, they had a little bit of guidance, and, you know, that's not going to be a good place for them. <laughs> A little bit of guidance and, and, you and, know, and, and fortitude and, and, and yeah, that takes a lot of that. And I, I can do this, right? Um, okay. Well, thank you, Kate. I'm sorry. I, I, he's, he's about to hit me here. So. Oh no, not at all. Yeah. You're, you're watching out for me and your, yeah. and your rig. Okay. Well, thank you for sharing and okay. we'll see you a little bit later. Thank you, Linda. Right? Yes. Yes. Linda. Okay. Thank you so much. All right. You're it's welcome, beautiful. Oops, one more thing. You said you have storage here too, right? Um, well, this, this front here is just cabinet, but then this is where I keep my water right here. Oh, and, very nice. Very and nice. And I'm sure you have a, a, a potty the, area somewhere. This is drinking water. Mm -hmm. This is, my potty is, a lot of people don't like this. I do. It's a female ergonomically designed yeah. Um, yeah. from Dollar Tree. Yeah. And, this is my yellow water tank, and that's only if I can't get rid of it right then and there, you know. Yeah. Um, and then you've got your storage and food and, yeah. right? 
some of the food is in here. Uh -huh. A lot of it is back here. You can't really see that so well, but and then a refrigerator. Okay, and this is like a 12 volt, is it or? Yeah, it's a 12 volt. Uh -huh. and, um, I never run it on anything but 12 volt. Okay, all right. Yeah. Wow, and you've traveled the country, have you? I have traveled every state except I haven't traveled. I've gone to Alaska, but I haven't traveled Alaska in a van. But I haven't traveled in um, Hawaii, obviously. But I've done every other state. Wow! And plus, how long have you been a nomad? I'm sorry. Oh no, I was going to say plus almost every, with the exception of Manitoba, all of the Canadian provinces that are um, against, you know, the boundary shared border with the U.S. Plus uh, Nova Scotia and Prince Edward Island. So. Fantastic. Yes. And when did you become a nomad or, you know, part time or well, when? Well, part time about 30 years ago. Okay. I fell in love with the whole thing and I kept downsizing and downsizing. I started with a class C, went up to a class A for a short time and said, this is not going to work for me because you can't get those things in the national parks or even a lot of state parks. So I started downsizing. Then I had a 22 foot van. And then I said, no, this is 17 and a half feet and it's plenty big for me. Nice. Yeah. All right. So that's the mini story. I'll let other people come okay. in and, and take a look at your beautiful work. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you again. Thank you. Kelly, this is beautiful. <laughs> Thank you for allowing me to uh, video and share with the audience here. Yeah, it's only uh, three weeks old, but I've had it and my first time com coming on a trip with it and it did great. I'm oh, happy. that's fantastic. I'm so happy with it. You and said th three weeks? Yeah, I, I've, it's only been three weeks. Wow. Uh, Look how cozy. This is like a cozy it's all cottage. Storage. And storage. Oh, let me see. Storage, okay. And I. We'll just do a quick. Yeah. Oh, I, I sit here in the morning and I make my coffee. Yeah, or I cook my dinner at night if I cook something simple. And the bed is so comfortable. Oh my God. Well, you just made this. This is much more than a she shed. This is like a beautiful little cottage here. <laughs> my my friend gave me that as soon as I bought the van. She oh, goes, nice. She goes, you got to have that she shed sign in there. I go, Look at the pink phone. I know. How fun. You have brought your, you know what I you did? brought your home into your home here. I won this at Mary Kay. I was one of her salesperson. Oh wow! So I had an MG Midget in Palm Springs, California, with a top down. I'd go before cell phones. Uh -huh. I'd go around like this in my car, and people would actually say, "You're talking on the phone." I go, yeah. <laughs> "Oh, that's hilarious!" And it's a real phone too. I love it. I love it. And you were sharing with me earlier. Let me. Let me. Okay, so you've got storage under here, right? Oh, yeah. It's all storage. Yep, beautiful. And these, these can go this way, or you can get them from the top. Okay. And have you, um, are you full time or what is your? I'll be on the road full time summertime to do my art shows. Okay, and yeah, yeah you said you have a big show that you do in Nevada, right? Yes, I do, uh, and I did. I do Big Hat, California. I go all the way up to Billings, Montana in the summertime. I do Jacksonville, Wyoming in okay. the summer. I heard you say that's a big one. Yeah, that's a real big one. Yep. I, I, I do very well at that show. I okay. sell all the elk, the moose, the bears, all that shit. All right, so you are a, a an artist yeah. with pencil. Yes. Yes, you were sharing with me. And tell tell everyone your uh, website. Kelly, six artist. Okay. Type that in search box. Okay. It takes right Do you mind if I show this? No, go ahead. Okay. There you go, guys. You can stop the video and it pet goes, portraits. It goes to the first page. Click on the animals and you see my art. And Fan. It, talk, it talks about why I'm a pencil artist. I'm colorblind. Oh my so gosh. So I, I have to do everything in pencil because I can't paint. I can't see color. So. Oh, that's <laughs> wow. Okay, so part time, full time? Full time. Yeah. Uh huh. And how, full time. How long have you been full time? 12 years. 12 years? Yeah, I have over 275,000 collectors. I, I got a, I I've got done a, over 2,000 dogs in the past um, 55 years. 2,000 dogs? Over, over 2,000. Drawings. Yeah. Animal portraits, right? Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yeah. yes, yes. Fantastic. Yeah. And uh, where did you reside prior? Do you mind? Uh, I was 18 years in, uh, well, I was in Vegas, Palm Springs, Nevada. I've been all over Chicago. Uh huh. I've lived everywhere. Yeah. So why'd you decide to go? You know, what? What do you have a little? I came down here. To story Ares. of what? Just the story of, of becoming a nomad, or 
No, I, I just, just needed a bigger van to do my art shows. Yeah. And just, I've been doing them for 12 years. I had a little 97 Honda Odyssey. It wasn't big enough to carry all my stuff. Okay. And try to sleep in it at night when yeah. I'm doing shows and stuff. Yeah. So what is this? What's the, what kind of? This, this is a 1992 Ford Eco van. Okay. okay. Yeah. And, all right uh, yeah i love it well i thank you for this little min mini uh interview and your place is absolutely stunning thank you yes thank you very much kelly one more thing here Four 14 books of originals okay so show us a oh there you go there you go nothing like seeing a like the real deal this, here this look is, how beautiful this is going to be on the cover of my book soon to be published all right you have a book coming out. Yes, and we have, it'll have 400 wild animal faces in it. And the title of the book? Well, I haven't decided that yet. We're okay, well, we'll that. just keep that keep it, that to you. I'm sure it'll be on your website, it right? It will be, yeah. Fantastic. This, this is just the North American book. Then I have three African books. Oh, wow. Well, you, you, are, um, <laughs> you are amazing and empowering and... And this is dogs I've done in the past. Oh. So beautiful. That you see my art on the bulletin board over there. Okay. That well, thank you so much, Kelly. We'll talk to you later. Okay, thank you. Yeah, let me see your storage real quick here. There we go. Okay. All right. Hi, Patty. <laughs> Hi. And so this is beautiful. What do we have here? Okay. Uh, so we went online. It's Ford Transit. Yeah, this is 250. Yeah, and he's so showing right now. This is my husband. Yeah. He's showing that we used um, for our. We have five gallons. Oh yes. Yes. And, uh, five yeah, gallons fresh and five well, gallons. Know, um, and we wanted to make sure we had clear buckets so we could see. Okay. This is a Ford Transit 250 medium roof. Ford Transit uh, 250. 250 medium, medium roof. Yep. Just repeating so they can yep. hear too. And so you don't mind if I come in? No, please. Okay. How beautiful air, this is, and I'll move over here. Use it for uh, not always. You know, if we wanted to put our bikes in there, our kayaks in here. So what we did is we made our beds fold up. They both fold up and they attach to the walls. Wow. And so these are the mattresses, and I covered them to make them pretty. Okay. And then that they mattress sure slips pretty. over here, yeah, and that one goes there. Like, and then I made headboards that slide on the ends there. into these little but things, um, little so the pillows don't fall off. Wow. And have something to lean up against. Wow. This is my pride and joy. It's yes. So this is just three-quarter inch plywood, but I decided to paint a picture on it. It's a nice stunning. Nice serene, and then it's covered with epoxy. Okay. So you painted this. I did. Yes, and that's beautiful. And so then that comes down. You said like this is that. painted with epoxy. This is acrylic paint acrylic and paint. covered with epoxy. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. It's covered with epoxy. Mm -hmm. And then your sink and storage yes, below. Yes, we decided to storage with a nice sink. And this just uh, has a PVC pipe uh, end on it. Mm -hmm. And then it happens to fit. I had to grind it down a little bit. It fits really nice and snug. Mm -hmm. For that, this is this is awesome. And everything uh, we have that Finsulate um, insulation everywhere. Finsulate, it's okay. called Finsulate. Mm -hmm. And so that's on the roof, the ceiling. I took the doors, the black panels on the doors apart, mm -hmm. and opened them up and insulated all inside the doors as well. Wow! And because you have that open area, you know, when you where the beams come out and you put the the framing around, you have this empty space. So I made wooden boxes put them in there so that we could have storage space and that's on both sides okay so you use these as storage yes yeah. yep. yep. and so then when you're laying down you have places for your cell phones your you know, whatever yeah your drink just yep. be careful a yes. thin drink so or a going, bottle i'm going to get some little things to go in there but i just have to find them that are narrow enough narrow i might enough. have to make okay. them. little baskets or what have yeah. you too okay narrow basket and, and and this works out really well i got a little hook thing here so that hides, that's where the, that's our back support for our couch. Fantastic. So we have the pillows and that kind of stuff behind wow, there. And then so I made this little ribbon to hook, to hook that up there. I love the colors and too. I wanted it to be fun and Yes, cheery. and it's like, yes, it certainly is. Yeah. And then you've got the um, and my microwave, microwave. I made a little thing for it and lifted it up so that I could have this pull out here. Mm -hmm. And so, you know. Um, this is all cushioned, all that metal, the, the glass thing that's in there is all, mm -hmm. all cushioned and everything. That's and then amazing. I have L brackets on the back of that that's holding it to this. Okay. So it's not going anywhere. And then more clothing, storage, food. This is, uh, yeah, pretty much all our clothes are in here. 
I'm going to step down here. And then, you know, these, I made these little things to hold it. You know how they have those um, magnets? The magnets don't work. I mean, they, you know. All right. So I, I just made a little, I cut wood, put a little screw in it. Oh, what a great tip. It goes tip. like that. Um, and it holds those in. Mm -hmm. These are Velcro strap. These are have Velcro on this side, Velcro here. So I pull them off. You know, that looks so much better than like bungee cords. Yes. Oh so, and the Velcro gosh. holds really well. Wow. Such um, beautiful um, tips. Yeah. So, and so are you full time? And, or? So we have, and so, in, instead of building our own cabinets, we just bought these from uh, Menards, actually. Menards? Um, Menards in Michigan. In Michigan, okay. Yeah, that's what we did. And are you full time or? We are not. Okay. Yet. Um, we live in uh, Arizona in the winter and Michigan in the summer, but our summer, our win winters are getting much longer here, and our summers we want to be in this traveling. Yes. And so you're traveling the country and seeing the world. Right. And, yeah. Right. So this is kind of our maiden voyage. Um, we haven't been out in it a whole lot, so we have little lists of what we, you know, well, we need to do that or we need to do this. But I think we got it. I think we got it pretty good. Wow. I think we got it pretty yeah. good. We have a little porta potty down there, and you know, the, the kind that just uses cat litter. Yeah, you just read my mind because yep. people always want to know Everybody that. that know. That's kind of like that's a stumbling block yes. for a lot of people. So we have jugs if we want to use that, and we have the kitty litter thing, and it's all everything's biodegradable. All right. And does so, husband mind being on camera? No, well, I don't okay. think so. Okay. And what is your name? Steve. Steve, this is beautiful. Well, thank you. And, uh, yeah. Your wife did a beautiful, uh, all the color touches and everything, yeah, right? Yeah, Can you take credit for any of that? No. No. <laughs> no. He approved of them. I sent him pictures, yes, okay. Yeah. He approved of them. But yeah, no, he's my engineer. So I come up with ideas and he engineers and pulls it off for me. So you're a beautiful couple working together, traveling and living life. I call that living life large. Yeah. We're working Price. at it. So, yeah. <laughs> Very nice. Well, thank you, and I'll step out of the way so some other people okay. can take some, uh, get some great tips from you. I appreciate it. Later. Made it back to my little camping spot. Friends across the way. And walk over to their campfire. They've invited me. So I'm pretty tired. It's been a jam-packed, fun-filled day. So check out that sunset. Woo! That's a beautiful picture. I think I'm just going to call it a day. I hope you enjoyed all the little mini tours of the many different rigs. And there will be, I believe, three different shows i probably talked to at least i don't know 20 people maybe more maybe a few less <laughs> but believe it or not believe it or not miss babbling brook is out of babbles at least i think i am until somebody comes by so with that, blessings in your day, joy in the journey, keep watching for more jam-packed, fun-filled videos of nomads, all ages, out here living life large. subscribe and click the bell and give me a thumbs up for all those wonderful wonderful people today talking and sharing beautiful good night oh yeah one more thing now we're putting on a show just about a half an hour later. Now we're putting on a show. Ooh.
I am going to heat up a can of yams for dinner. Can we say woohoo? <laughs> Someone gave me a tamale today. Thank you, you know who you are. It was quite the blessing because I didn't eat all day. Later. Yams and applesauce for dinner. You're invited. This is a first. <laughs> I've probably had this can for a year, but it doesn't expire till November of 2023. So there you have it. <laughs>